All right, let's go over function notation and function evaluation. Uh, by and large, this stuff isn't too hard. Uh, what I have realized in the past, though, is a lot of times you guys just don't read the notation correctly. So I'm going to really work with you guys on the English here. What do I mean by function notation? All right, when a function f is defined, all right, and I see here with a rule or an equation, we typically call it an equation. Using x for the independent variable and y for the dependent variable, we'll say y is a function of x, all right? Why? Because y is the dependent variable. It depends on x, all right? And we use this notation. And this reads y is a function of x, okay? That's what those math symbols mean, all right? I'm going to say it for you guys one more time. Y is a function of x. Notice that my mouth says of when I hit those parentheses, all right? And this is called function notation, all right? This f with the x in parentheses, it's read f of x. The letter f is the name given to this function. All right, so for example, if I have y equals 3x minus 1, I can write this in what's called function notation by replacing the y with this f of x. Same thing, guys. y and f of x, same thing. All right, I'm going to say it one more time because I've got to get it through your head. Y is the same thing as f of x. All right, so again, I'm trying to hit you 100 million times, all right? Some of you are rolling your eyes. Some of you, um, this may be a little bit new for you or you haven't seen it in a while. Note again, f of x is just another name for the dependent variable y. They are interchangeable, okay? In the same way I can say UNC Chapel Hill and the Tar Hills, we know I'm getting to the same thing. Same thing, f of x, y. All right, for example, if y equals f of x equals 3x minus 1. All right, so if I'm just letting my function be 3x minus 1 and x equals 2, then we can find y, or I can write it as f of 2. Okay, and I replace the x with the 2. Note again, I read it as f of 2, or the function value at 2. Okay, I can plug 2 in for x and get 3 times 2 minus 1, or what is 5. All right, and so I get this statement that if x equals 2, then y equals 5. All right, this is the ordered pair for 2 in the x spot, 5 in the y spot. All right, and we can abbreviate with function notation f of 2 equals 5. All right, so there's a lot of information on this slide. I recommend maybe listening to it one more time because there's a lot of English here, guys. All right, you need to keep in mind that function values are y values. All right, how the substituting of 2 works in the function notation, that it's just telling you to substitute 2 for x. All right, let's actually look at a few more examples. I'm going to give you two different functions here. We have f of x, which is this negative x squared plus 2x minus 3, and g of x, which I've defined as 3x plus 5. All right, first I'm asking you for f of 2. All right, keep in mind how I'm reading it, f of 2. What am I telling you to do? I'm telling you to replace x with 2. All right. Note, I used parentheses around my 2. Why would I do that? All right, well, I have a negative x squared, and I need to know order of operations there. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally tells me I need to square that 2 before I multiply by that negative. All right, and so I'm telling you, apply the exponent, then multiply. And so I'm getting negative 4 plus 4 minus 3, or simply negative 3. All right, thus, when I plug in 2, or I can say f of 2, I get negative 3, which gives me the ordered pair 2 comma negative 3. All right, let's try g of a plus 1. What? a plus 1? What does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything right now, guys. It's simply symbolic evaluation, but I want to plug in or substitute a plus 1 where I see an x, all right? And so I'm plugging in a plus 1 where I have the x next to the 3, all right? What do I need to do? I need to distribute that 3. I get 3a plus 3 plus 5. I can combine my 3 and 5 into 8. 
And so when I plug in or substitute a plus 1 into my g function, I get this new function 3a plus 8. All right, let's find f of 3 for this function f of x equals 2x minus 7. What do we need to do? We need to replace the x with the 3. All right, and so I get 2 times 3 minus 7 or negative 1. All right, what about here? I can just give you a set of ordered pairs and ask you for f of 3. Okay, well, f of 3 is the y value of the ordered pair where x equals 3. Notice we have the ordered pair 3, 1. So when x equals 3, I get y equals 1. So f of 3 is simply 1. All right, what about here? All right, we're just mapping the domain to the range. All right, what is f of 3? Well, in the mapping, the domain element 3 is paired with 5 in the range. So f of 3 is 5. All right, what about f of 3 when I give you a graph? What the heck are you going to do? All right, notice I start at 3 on my x-axis and I go up to where I touch my function and then I go over to my y-axis to see what y I'm getting when x is 3. And the answer is 4. So f of 3 is simply 4. All right, sometimes you're going to be asked to find an expression for f of x. This is crazy math talk. It's not hard. It's just sometimes math instructions are seem like they're written in a foreign language. All this means is, and let's go down here to the 1 and 2 at the bottom of the box, all right, solve the equation for y. In other words, isolate y and then replace y with f of x. Let's go through an example, okay? Assume that y is a function of x and we're going to rewrite using function notation. All right, so given this example, again, what do we want to do? We want to solve for y. So I subtract x from both sides, divide every term by negative 4. Note I divided every term by negative 4, and I'm going to replace my y with f of x, and note that I wrote it a little different than it was in that step with the y. All right, the, the negatives cancel, Okay, and let me grab my pen here just so you guys can see. I could have written f of x equals, just so there's no confusion, x over 4. All right, this is the same thing as the 1 fourth times x. Same thing, minus the 5 over 4. Note I used the minus in this denominator to change my addition to subtraction.